as we mark 103 years since the Qualification of Women Act, which gave women the right to stand for election for the first time, it is important that we look at the progress made and the distance we have travelled. But we also owe it to the communities we serve, to the people we represent, to women thinking of entering politics and to the women who will be elected in the future to look at where we still fall short. There is sadly still some distance still to be travelled until we have gender balance in our political life. In a representative democracy it's essential that our politicians are truly representative of all the communities that they serve. As a parliament and as nations we are best served by drawing on a diverse range of talent. This makes for a richer, more vibrant democracy and a public life that reflects the needs of all our communities. In Scotland, we are served by the first female First Minister in Nicola Sturgeon, and we are one of only a handful of countries in the world to appoint a gender balanced cabinet. At Westminster, our Shadow Chancellor Alison Thewlis and Deputy Leader Kirsten Oswald are among the range of female talent on the SNP benches. I hope that these role models in our party and parties across the House of Commons will help inspire more women to get involved. I was myself inspired to join the SNP by the election of Winnie Ewing, known as Madame McCoss and Margot MacDonald, two outstanding women who were and are an inspiration to so many. But we all know that role models are not enough. It's political parties who must do more to ensure that the routes to election are open and that women are supported on this journey. We must continue to make bold choices and encourage each other to go further if we want to see the rich and representative parliament that we all expect and that the public deserves. I greatly support the Women's 50-50 campaign who do fantastic work shining a light on this important issue and I'm delighted to support their call today to inspire more women to get involved in politics and sign up to stand.